Shalom, my people. Shalom. Shalom, my sisters and brothers in the faith. Shalom, my sisters and brothers in the faith. Hey, we're going through some treacherous time now, and I think we really need to be awoken or awakened or woke or awake. Well, any way you want to call it, we need to have be vigilant in what's going on. Right now, they're just making us look like fools. Right now, we're trusting in everything they tell us. Right now, we, we are in a, in a stage of emergency. This is critical times right now for us as the so-called Hebrew Israelites. When I say uh, sister and brother in the faith, I mean just that because guess what? Everybody is not in the faith. Everybody is not going to get this word. Everybody is not going to believe what I'm saying. So everybody is not all in the faith. So this is what I'm saying because see, you go to Jeremiah 13, 8. You go to Jeremiah, I'm going to read it for you. Jeremiah 13, 8. It shall come to pass that in all the land, Two-thirds should die. Well, I'm not looking. This word is not for everybody. It's only a third going to get it. And a third going to go through the fire, which we're going through the fire, trials of tribulation now. And those who pull through, when the end of time comes, them going to be the one that make it. When Christianity tell you they saved, they, I, I promise you people, nobody saved. Not me. Not, not the pastor. Not nobody saved. Now is the way. We had to wait to judgment. We pray and we strive to be there. So don't never let a church tell you saved. You ain't saved until you 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 ain't saved until you see Jesus Christ up on that throne telling you you made it. You're not saved until you see Jesus Christ on that throne telling you made it. But you're striving to get there. So don't let nobody tell you say because you know how you know you ain't saved. If you were saved, you wouldn't be in this this this, this, this turmoil that we in. We still in slavery. We still we still back in our, 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 our Rome, back in the, the, the Babylon. This is modern Babylon where we in now. We living in modern Babylon now. We got the same. We got the same. We going by the same rules. We going by the same rules they do in modern Babylon, because they didn't go by the Bible. They tell you when you go to uh, court, and you have to swear on the Bible, but they they don't do nothing by the Bible. They got their own code with how they judge you. They don't judge you by that Bible because they did. All gay people would be in prison or dead right about now. All adulterers are being prison or dead right by now. They don't go by it. They have their own law, their own statutes, which is the same thing the Roman did. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for homosexuality, bestiality, all kind of stuff they were doing over there. Incest. They, the Lord destroyed them. So here we go right here. So the Lord destroyed San Francisco. Why do you think San Francisco over there burning up? You think it's just burning? That's modern day Sodom and Gomorrah over there in San Francisco. That's why the land burning up. But hey, I just want to give a couple side notes before I get into the word. The word is just, I'm, I'm just going through Jeremiah. Just reading, God scorning us. He using Jeremiah to scorn us. You know, I'm just going to go through it and read a couple scriptures. It ain't going to be long. The first side note is Zechariah 13, 8. It should come to pass that in all the land, two thirds should die. So you just, just imagine, so you got to understand, the Bible is written, is written to you, the Hebrew Israelites. So when he said two thirds are going to die, that means two thirds of the Israelites are going to die. They're not going to make it. Two-thirds are not going to make it. Well, you see the two-thirds dying now. We're dying every day. We're killing ourselves. Another side note, Proverbs. He that tilleth the land shall have plenty of bread. But he that follows after vain person shall have property enough. That means you're going to have a bunch of problems. What we're going through now because we're following, we following the false doctrine. We're following Christianity. So that's why we're in property. That's why we're hitting in hoses. We're hitting in prison houses, so-called Negro, so-called Mexican, the 12 tribes of Israel. And, and them, that was just a few uh, uh, notes. And one more thing. This is right here. It's in the Apocrypha. It's Judith. This is, what she, this, this, this is what it says. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, talking about Hebrew Israelite, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this should be their ruin, and let us go up. And we shall overcome them. See, they even know that this this Christianity is not our God. And so we, we serve other gods. And they know that once we serve other gods, we, we are at our weakest stage. Weakest stage. Right now, we are in our weakest stage right now. Undeniable, we're in our weakest stage right now. Because this is what we're going through. We're going through all this stuff, the curses, which is in Deuteronomy 15 through 68. It's all the curses that we're going through. And all them curses fit us. But I'm just going to read a little bit of Jeremiah. A little bit of Jeremiah. You see, Jeremiah, the law was talking to Jeremiah. He was telling Jeremiah to go talk to his people. But Jeremiah was kind of scared. He literally, he was, he was scared of y'all Negroes. 
Because y'all treacherous. Negro treacherous. Boy, you, if you don't say what they want to hear, oh, man, you done start a war. But they'll go to church and listen to that church all day, but let you come out there and tell them they're a king and they're a queen. They'll fight you. I ain't no king or no queen. They don't want to, they don't want to be kings and queens. They want to be peasants. <laughs> That's amazing. Negroes are something now. But you see, Jeremiah knew that back then. We the same way now when, Je hey, when Jeremiah, Jeremiah, hey, Lord, I, I don't want to go out here and eat. I'm just, but, but, yeah, I don't want to go out here with these niggas, Lord. They're they, they treacherous. But the Lord, the Lord, I'm going to tell you what the Lord said he's going to do to Jeremiah to get prepared for us. Because we, we the ones that, same one that right now today, we can't stand truth. Just like Judah said, Jude said that if we catch them, when they're not serving their God, they, 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 we can overcome them. So we're not serving our God, they can overcome us. So that's why we treat each other bad. Let's change it out. Black Lives Matter is a bunch of hoes. That's not, that's not real. It's not real. Listen, not nothing. You ain't gonna never get no other by protesting. As a matter of fact, they didn't, the, the black people ain't even protesting no more. The black people home. You look at TV and show all the people in there, it's just all white. Black people trying to have their own little side stuff. Like we had here in Jacksonville, we had like 800, uh, 800 people was, was, in, was in like a run. Black Lives Matter. Now we done tried to get a little sidebar because the white folk done took over. They, they done infiltrated that. That's why God said no hand join the hand. Because you join hand with them, you lose your focus. And they take on their focus. And then, now they still kill enough, but, they, but the Black Lives Matter don't matter. Because guess what? I don't give a damn what nobody say. If Black Lives Matter, we'll start killing our own self. How can you go and ask for somebody to give you respect when you're killing your own self? We right here killing our own people. That's crazy. You think I'm going to respect you? You right here killing your own people every night? You killing each other every night, every night, every night. But you want me to respect you. I'm going to continue killing you just like you killing yourself. Ain't no such thing no black lives matter. Y'all believe in that mess? You, 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 if you believe in that, you believe in anything somebody tell you. I ain't gonna sell you a limit with wheels on your back. I think it's a car. Because see, we are not obeying the law. And, and, and I'm gonna read Jeremiah to you, some verses out of Jeremiah. And some of are gonna be kind of funny. It's funny but not funny. But you can tell this us how Jeremiah talking to us. Before he talked, the Lord told him, then, then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, came unto Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I formed thee in the belly. The Lord said, I made you, Jeremiah, before you was even born. I made you in the belly. I knew thee. I knew you, Jeremiah, before thee. I came and forth out of the womb. Jeremiah, I made you. I know you, Jeremiah. I'm going to give you power to deal with these hard-headed Negroes. I know you. Check this out. Check this out. I sacrificed thee, ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. The Lord ordained Jeremiah a prophet unto the nation to come testify to us. See, but the Lord is telling Jeremiah, hey, man, I know these niggas hard head, but I made you out of the belly. I formed you before you was even born. I formed you before you even came out of your mother's womb. I ordained you to be a prophet to us. The Lord said, look at Jeremiah, I made you to be a prophet to these hard head Negroes. I know they hard head, but I made you to be a prophet to them. Check this out. Then said, then said, I, oh, Lord, God, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. Jeremiah, hey, Lord, I can't have a child. Child of mine, I don't know this Bible, Lord. How am I going to these old stupid neck people asking me all these questions? I don't know this. I'm a still a child, not a, not, a, not a baby child, but he's trying to mention the child. I'm still a, ha, 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 I'm going to speak to these hard-headed Negro. And you know we hard here. And you know we stiff neck people. You know we don't listen to nobody but the white folks. <laughs> That's amazing. You go into a store like the Arab store. What's your art? What's your art? Let me get two of them, them, them Lucy. They don't even smoke, but they sell you in your neighborhood. You go in your neighborhood, your oppressors in your neighborhood. The Chinese, the Korean, the Japanese, Islam, the Arabs, all in your neighborhood. You have nothing in your neighborhood. You have no store, no nothing. Nothing. No, I mean nothing. Zero out of nothing belongs to you. All your slave masters are in your neighborhood getting rich off of you. But you hard head towards your people. You will walk past, your people won't say good morning, won't say hey. I did an experiment here. Me and my assistants we wrote downtown in front of the courthouse. I take care of water. Bodies of water, that's my, that's my thing. That's what I take care of, bodies of water. Well, they got some fountains out there. And we wear uniform. And we would see our people, our own women. They will see us 10 feet, 15 feet away. Before they can get us to keep them from speaking to us, they'll turn or go another direction. 
We seen some white folks come. White women's coming to us. What you doing? What y'all, oh, that y'all seen interest. See, that's why some of the reason why you talking about black lives matter, it doesn't matter. Our own people hate us. You hate your own people. You hate them so much, you kill them. You hate it so much, you execution a style of a six-year-old boy. A six-year-old boy. And you talking about black lives matter? Nah, nah, check this out. Check this out. But the Lord said to me, say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go all that I shall send thee. Lord, hey, don't call yourself a child, man. I made you. Wherever I tell you to go, you're going. You're going to go to these hard head, stiff neck people. Check this out. Check this out. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Lord, I know you're hard head. That means, Lord, hey, I got your back. I got your back, Jeremiah, because I know these some stiff neck people. I made them people. I know these stiff neck, but I got your back. This man was scared of us because we stiff neck people right now today. You can't talk to a black man. Without him getting up in the room. You about to have a back. You go to talk to a black man soft and see what happened to you. Same thing happened right then. Happened right now. This man was scared to go to y'all. Because you're hard head. Because y'all won't believe the truth. Y'all ready to believe you're oppressor than to believe somebody who look like you. Everybody got a God except you. Your, your God looks like the same person who oppressed you. Crazy. Look at him. Keep going. Be not afraid of their face. <laughs> I just said. God telling Jeremiah, don't be afraid of these Negroes. Don't be afraid of these Negroes. I know how they is. I made these old stiff they need. The Lord telling Jeremiah, if you go back and read Exodus, the Lord told him, hey, I had to repent of myself for the thought I had to do to these Negroes. So you think, Jeremiah knew all this. This man was afraid to come to us because we stiff neck hard neck people. We'll kill our own beloved white man to death. Check this out. Check this out. I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. The Lord said, I'm with you, Jeremiah. I know these stiff neck people, they're not going to believe you. But check this out, Jeremiah. Go right, go, go, go. Jeremiah, I want you to go to Zechariah, Jeremiah. Go to Zechariah, like I told you, and read that. Let me find it real quick. Let me find it. Let me find it. What he told Jeremiah to do. Go back to Zechariah 13, Zechariah, no, uh, uh, Jeremiah. Two-thirds of the Negroes ain't going to make it out of the 12 tribes of Israel. So, them two-thirds you get, that's them stiff neck people I'm talking to. I'm talking to them stiff neck people because guess what? I got a third of my people going to hear me. But two-thirds ain't going to make it. But check this out, check this out. Then the Lord put forth his hand. Oh, Lord, put forth his hand and touch my mouth. Jeremiah said, the Lord, touch my mouth. Touch my mouth. You shall finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my word in their mouth. Jeremiah, go speak to my people. They need you. I send them out there. I send you out to my people. I'm going to put my word in your mouth. So you will know what to say to your stiff neck people I got out there. Them two thirds that ain't going to make it. But the third going to make it. Check this out. That's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the two thirds. I'm talking to the third, not the two thirds. I'm going to put my word in your mouth, Jeremiah. I'm going to touch your mouth and put my word in because I know these niggas hard heads. They kill their own people. Lord, no, you're going to kill your own people. You're doing it right now today. You despise your own people. You hate your own people. Check this out. Oh, uh, hey, 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 it's just stuff. Oh, these, these just verses I'm telling you. See, Jeremiah was scared. He's scared to speak to the Negro. Y'all niggas go to the same world then. Y'all, he was scared to speak to the Negroes. The Lord had to, 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 to call for him to get ready to go speak to us. You can't tell me that don't fit us because we the same people right now. We the same. The Lord touched my mouth. I'm not afraid to tell you, Negro, who you are and what you're going to do and what's going on. I'm not afraid. I'm not going to get on here and pacify you with, with, with some miracles some blessings and, and all this stuff here. And nobody care about your soul. They just want your pocket. We got our own people coming on these Facebook pages and telling and all they want is your pocket. Nobody tell you who you are. Nobody tell you that two-thirds of you niggas are going to die. Nobody tell you that a third of you going to make it and the other two-thirds not. Nobody tell you all they talk about prosperity. 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 But they don't care nothing about your soul. Now check this out. Check this out. And now what how they to do in the well of Egypt? To drink the water or sorrow? Or what has that to do in the way of Syria? To drink the water or the river? Check this out. Their own wickedness. This is the Lord telling you, hey, Jeremiah talking to you now. Because he done gave him the word. I'm just, I'm just going through certain scriptures. I'm just going through scriptures to show you. This Jeremiah talking, hey, tell you that. Their own wickedness 
shall correct thee. Your own weakness shall correct you. You're going to get tired of getting beat down. You're going to get tired of these politicians lying to you. Your own wickedness shall correct you. Check this out. Check this out. And thy backslider shall reprove thee. Your sin going to catch up with you. Now, therefore, see that it is evil thing. Bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord. We are forsaken, forsaken the Lord thy God. And that thou fear is not in thee, saith the Lord of hosts. Y'all y'all not scared. You're not scared of the Lord no more. Because guess what? Oh, he tearing his carry. He tearing his coming. You can do a bunch of sin and you still getting blessed. You can do a bunch of wickedness and you still getting blessed. You worship the other God, you still getting blessed. So guess what? So now you don't relax. Oh, man, the Lord ain't going to do nothing to me. But the Lord said he should reprove you. Something will happen to you. That's what he tell you. I'm going to bring, he's going to bring the wrath upon you. I'm going to keep reading. He's going to bring the wrath upon you. That's what happened to you. He's going to bring the wrath upon you. Because you think you're not easy off now because you done went 20, 10, 15, 30, 40 years of your life. And you think you're living good, but you ain't obeying the law, set the commandment. So you figure God is with you. But God got something for all that. For though thou, what, okay, okay. Sand to a stop. That's wood. God, I, I already told you that God said you, 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 you don't forget him. You don't have no fear. So guess what you're doing? You don't have no fear, Lord, because he's tearing his coming. Now guess what you don't start doing? Since you don't have no fear, go get what you don't start doing. This Jeremiah, I'm in Jeremiah, y'all. I was in, I was in, I should, I'm sorry I didn't want to give y'all the verses. I was in Jeremiah 1. Now I'm in Jeremiah 2. I just read 18, 19. Now I'm dropping down to 27. Because I already read in, in, in verse 19 where I told y'all y'all don't fear the Lord no more. So the Lord said your own sin ain't going to reprove you. He's going to show you. But now here, guess what? Y'all done got to the point where y'all so bold. Now get what y'all doing. Sin to the stock. The stock is wood. That's that wooden cross. Tell you that. Thou art my father. Y'all saying to the wood, thou art my father. Y'all praying to a wooden cross. Y'all praying to that Jesus. That white Jesus he trying to tell you who is not him. Y'all don't worship other God. You done got so comfortable now in this white man world that's not yours. So you pray into this wood. That wood is that wooden cross that you wear around your neck. That wood is that wooden stock where they hung out Jesus on. You pray into a white man. You pray into a white man. Because what you see is that white man. Why do you think you hate us so much and love the white man? Because that white man symbolized, that white Jesus symbolized the white man. I can't hate him because he looks like Jesus. So I got to love him, but I'm going to kill my brothers. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I, thank you. I know. I know. I know. Thank you. you, you you're welcome. You're welcome. I, I, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. See that? Say to the stock. There are my father. And to the stone. The stone is the carved stone which y'all so-called nigga not call yourself Muslim. Y'all just in adopt the God said y'all just in adopt the all kind of religion around me. Y'all just doing now y'all working with a wooden cross. Y'all calling this thing, this, this, this blue-eyed man, God. Y'all hate y'all love him because he look like y'all oppressor. But you hate your brother, you kill him every day. But you to my black lives matter. Man, come on, get out of here. Check it out. That has brought me forth. For they have turned their back under me. I'm just, God said y'all don't turn your back on me. Y'all stiff necked Negroes don't turn y'all back on me. Check this out. Check this out. And not their face. But in the time of their trouble. They will say arise and save us. <laughs> you know what I told you? I just read 19 where it tells you your, your, your iniquity will approve you. But guess what? When they come. When, 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 when that. Nation upon nation, which is a race war, come upon you. Y'all niggas don't have no gun. Y'all been watching too much TV. You shooting a gun sideways. They know how to shoot guns. You see Trump told that militia group to stand by. You think they get, I ain't finna get into all that, but you about to get ready. Now the Lord said, you're going to be calling on me because you're hurting now. They're going to come here and you think you, if Trump win, you in trouble. Even if Biden win, you're still in trouble. Okay, nothing going to never change. It's just a different person now. He just a different face. He just gonna come at it different. He gonna come at you different. Donald Trump, at least Donald Trump, you know he's a snake. He coming at you, he coming straight to your face and tell you he, he hates you niggas. But Biden gonna come sideways. Here they go, they, they'll kill you if you if, if, if you don't vote. Your own people kill you to vote. It ain't worked since your your it ain't worked since your, your your ancestor came here on slavery. So you think your master gonna let you pick your uh who your master gonna be? <laughs> now I digress. But the Lord telling you. Yeah, in the time of trouble, you're going to be begging for his help. Check it out. Check it out. Go to 30. Go to, go to Jeremiah 2.30. In vain have I smitten your children. God said, in vain, I killed your, I killed your kids. They dying in the street. I, I know, Jeremiah 30, 2.30. God said, in vain, I killed your kids, your children. 
He gonna continue killing them. Cause that's why they died. They're not making it past twenty. Now they, 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 I remember one time it was thirty. Remember it dropped down like 25, 26. Then dropped down to twenty three. Now they ain't even living to be nineteen, eighteen. Gosh, I'm gonna kill your kids. You disobeying Stephanie, niggas, I'm killing your kids. They receive no correction. <laughs> Cause you ain't giving them. You don't even know the word. How you gonna get them correction? You don't even know the word. You still hooked on Christianity. Don't beat your kid. Put him in the corner timeout. Nigga, please. Your own short. Sword me gun, modern day gun, has devoured your prophet like he destroyed the lion. How you killing? You just you you you, you don't destroy the people. We are we were gosh, I'm killing your children. You have no correction because guess what? Because you're killing the prophet. I am the prophet. I am a prophet telling you what thus says the Lord. Guess how you, not only are you killing them with the modern sword, you killing them with your mouth. Your mouth killing us. Down play it. All them niggas don't know what they're talking about. Nigga, because Christianity got you. But you can't open up your eyes and see what's going on around you. Because Christianity got you blind. Because you see that Jesus, that wooden cross, what God said. You look at the man on that wooden cross. He was white. The Jesus, if you go to Revelation, you go to Revelation 1 through uh, or 16, tell you how dark Jesus was, huh? Go to Daniels 1 and 4. See this here? If, if, if I had to give a description to a police of a man who came here and gave me a million dollars, this is what he would look like. You go to Dan, you go to uh, Daniel 1, go to Daniel 10 through 6, and then go to Revelation 1 through 14. It describes him. And he makes sure he's so dark. They say he's like he's been burnt in the front. But you're gonna believe, you're gonna hear this 2020, you're gonna believe that the Jesus is a white man on the cross. That's who you worship. That's why you hate your brother. Don't you know if you knew that God was a black man, you would love your brother to death? You wouldn't kill your brother, guess what? Because he looked like God. You'd be scared to kill him because man, that, that, we, we, he looked like he a God, he looked like God. I'm going to kill someone who looks like my God. But as long as I look like a white Jesus, who just sit, see this shit right here? Caesar Bozier, Leonardo da Vinci painted him. And this is and, and this what the, uh, 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 the Catholic Church put before you. They made you worship it. But if you knew that God looked like this, you wouldn't kill me or nobody looked like him. Because that, you see that, you, you, you relate that to God. So you relate a white man to a white man. You won't kill him, but you kill me. Common sense. I done told you. The Lord said, you have, your kids have no, I, I, in vain, I have, I smitten your kid, smitten and killed. I done killed your children. I'm killing them every day on the street. Lord, time to get your attention one way or another. Check this out. They receive no correct call. Guess what? You killed, you done killed the prophet. You destroyed the prophet. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just going through things. Find this thing. Check this out. 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 Go to uh, Jeremiah 3, 22. Return you backsliding children. I will heal your backsliding. Behold, we come in thee. For thou art the Lord our God. God said, all you got to do is come back. All you got to do is come back and listen to the prophet. Listen to what I tell you. Listen to what I tell you that you're God's. Go to, go, go to Psalms 82. God said, you are, you, you are God, but you die like princes. Because we disobey the law of command. Go to Psalms 82. He called you a God. He said, You a God. But you die like princes. Princes mean like Trump. Them type of people in high in high spaces. You that's how you die like. But you were God. But guess what? Because you were backslide. But here go the Lord pleading to you. Come back. Come back. Come back to me. And I save you. You gotta come back to the word of commandment. That's four point lane. You ain't gonna make it. That Christianity ain't gonna help you. Christianity will not help you. Don't you know that you, I'm 54. Christianity ain't, I ain't seen nothing change since I was able to recognize the world where it was going on. Nothing had changed. Now check this out. I, I, I ain't want this to be long. Check this out. Old Jerusalem, which is you. Watch their heart. God said, Old Jerusalem, which is the 12 tribes of Israel. Watch their heart from wickedness. That thou may be saved. How long shall a vain thought law within thee? Well, I say, how long, nigga, how long are you gonna be a sinner? When are you gonna wake up? You gonna be a sinner all your life? No, the most I just saying. Check this out. Check this out. For the house, for Jeremiah 5 11, for the house of Israel and the house of Jew, Israel is the other two, other nine nations. The so-called Latino and American in, in, in the indigenous Indian. That's the other nine nations. That's Israel. Judah, which is the so-called Negroes, uh, 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 so-called Haitians, 
and so called uh, uh, West Indian, which is uh, 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 Trinidad. Them the three, them the three Jews. We are the real three Jews, not Jewish. The three Jews. The word Jewish, Jew, come from Judah. They said, "Check this out. Check this out." For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously against me," said the Lord. We got to come back from our way. Y'all don't. Y'all just me treating God. Y'all just disrespecting God. All you, but God, guess what? You gonna call me? I am going to make sure you call me. You gonna call God begging for your help? You gonna be begging for help for God? But then you gonna realize. You know what you gonna say? Where are the Hebrew Israelites like who tried to teach me? That's what you gonna say. I'm just throwing it out there. I ain't. Hey, 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 tell you that. Tell you that. Because declare this. This in this in Jeremiah five twenty. Declare this in the house of Jacob. Publish it. In Jew and Judah saying, Hear now, this old foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes to see, not, which have ears to hear, not. Y'all just dumbfounded. Y'all don't want to hear nothing the Lord just said to the Lord. I said, if it ain't Christianity, hey, I was home yesterday and I flipped on TV and I seen Joe Osteen. That man did not quote one scripture out the Bible. Well, he did quote one scripture. He said, y'all, he, he said the Hebrew Israelites are God chosen people. But y'all about past that. All that man talk about his wealth. He talk about his daddy. He give you good prosperity. But he don't tell you that the Negro, he said Hebrew Israelites, but you only know that you are the Hebrew Israelites. You are the one in the Bible who the Bible speak of. You are the one that went in Mount Zion when, 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 when Moses gave y'all the law, statute and commandment. You are the same people. God said, I come from my people who the Israelites. But tell you that. Tell you that. Tell you that. As the cage is full of birds, so are the house full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and white witch. You know, but deceit in them. Nothing but deceit is in the house. You full of you full of deceit. You full of deceit. That means you don't have nothing in you. We're, 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 God, God said you just full of deceit. I'm trying to get that thing where I'm trying to find it when he asks you where you just you uh, is Hebrew. If you are you just a, 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 a homeborn slave. You get the homeborn slave. Here you go. Here you go one right here. This is what the Lord said about you. And then I, I, I'm gone. This is what the Lord said about the Hebrew Israelites. The so-called Negro. And death shall be chosen rather than life. You choose death rather than life. You rather go out there and take your chance and get killed rather than choose life. Life is this Hebrew, this word I'm teaching you. Not that Christianity stuff they're teaching you. But all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which is the Hebrew Israelites, 12 tribes of Israel, which remain in the place where I have driven them. With the Lord said, I've driven Y'all scattered all over the world. We scattered all over the world through slavery. Then said the Lord of hosts, we done. We are certainly done. And that just, it just, it just, it just, just that. And guess what Jeremiah said about us? And I'm going to close. I just had to get his speech. I'm going to say what Jeremiah said about us. For the hurt of the daughter of my people. The daughter. See, God used a metaphor. Because, you know, we married to the bridegroom. He's talking he talk about us as like women. Or like his daughter. We, 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 the daughter of Zion. He, he using a metaphor talking about us. How he loved us. He loved us like a man loves his wife. That's what the Most High is saying. Of oh, my people. I am hurt. I am black. Jeremiah said, I'm black. My, 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 my own people, that's what he's saying. My own people. My own people. Astonished has taken a hold of me. Jeremiah, Jeremiah basically almost gave up. Dealing with so-called Negro. This great prophet almost gave up. But if you continue reading, you see there's hope for us. But this great prophet was scared to come talk to the people. I showed you that. And then at the end, I just showed this man in the middle. This man just know he just said, I'm black. My own people. My own people don't even believe me. Guess what? I am astonished. The man has almost lost hope in the so-called Negro. Cause we bite sliders. And we wanna, we wanna, we wanna worship that wooden cross in the cobblestone, which is what the, 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 the Muslims do. They go around there and kiss that stone. And then here they got herpes all on the lips. They got millions of people go out there and kiss that stone. You everybody have seen that on TV. Millions of them so-called Jews and the Muslims that call themselves, take that trip to Mecca. They go out there and kiss that stone. You got all the millions of people that kiss that stone. 
you come back herpes passing on to the people. And you got this, these Negroes here, that Christianity, here we go, worshiping a wooden cross. But check this out. One I'm going to go read the description. Revelation 1 through 14 and Daniel 1 through 10 through 6. Revelation 1 through 14 and Daniel 10 through 6. And see the description of Jesus. If you see, I want you, what I want you to do is sketch that, get you a pencil and paper and sketch out that description as, 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 as it's been written. And sketch out that description of how he looked. I promise you, if you knew Jesus was a black man, you wouldn't kill another black man. You couldn't, because you would think you would think you think you're killing Jesus. If you look at if you knew the description of Jesus, you wouldn't kill another black man because you think you're looking at Jesus. So that's why you can kill a nigga with no problem. But you won't kill a white man who can move a white man can move right in an all black neighborhood and walk up and down the street with a dog, him and his wife. You scared to touch him. But a nigga come up there, you're going to rob him, kill him, his family, and you're going to shoot his little six-year-old boy in the head, uh, execution style. Lay on your stomach, son, because I'm a coward, and I'm going to shoot you in the back of the head. Because you don't see a nigga looking like Jesus. Because <laughs> you don't know the description of him. But you see that white man looking like that so-called Jesus who you see. So you would dare not kill him. He can be beating your ass. You won't kill him. You won't do nothing to him because you think you you, you think you think that Jesus. Shout out, my people. Shout out. I just had to get the message out. Shout out. I love you. I do this all I love. I, hey, Lord had to do me like that too. Because you got to think about it. Everybody remember your past, but don't remember your, where you're going. So everybody remember Christianity. So you remember because you, at first I was scared. I was scared to come and tell you this thing. I used to ease into it. But now I, I, I see you. I'm going to tell you. Because Lord touched my mouth and put his word in me. So I'm not afraid to tell you. Shalom, my people. Shalom. Shalom. I love you. Shalom.